Hey, what's up guys? Uh, you see we're in the hobby shop, my basement. Uh, I got a new project that some of you guys know about, uh, some of you don't. So uh, here it is, let me show you. This is going to be my e-bike, electric bicycle. Believe it or not, that is a bicycle. Uh, never mind the cat. Um, I just got this in today, kind of mocked it up a little bit. No big deal. Um, it's all steel frame. Uh, this large area in here obviously is for your battery. Comes with this big heavy battery box, which I don't think I'm going to be using because it's about six pounds. So I'm going to try and have my battery sit in there without the use of that. Um, I'm shooting for something in the 5,000 watt range. It'll be a hub motor. The motor is actually part of the hub. Or is the hub, I should say. Um, we're going to go with some heavy duty moto wheels, motorcycle wheels and tires. Uh, the only thing I've bought so far, as you can see, is the uh, DNM rear shock, which is fully adjustable, compression, rebound, spring preload. Um, I ordered this frame in black. They accidentally sent me a white one. Um, the guy actually reimbursed me like 125 bucks because they sent the wrong color, which is cool. So I got this frame for like 295 I think. It's pretty cheap made in china but good heavy duty frame and it's gonna need to be to handle all the power i'm going to put at it um this tray here is basically going to house your uh, speed controller most of you are in the rc basically this is going to be a giant speed controller uh forks i'm going to go with inverted double crown forks about eight inches of travel in the front about eight inches of travel in the rear haven't decided yet if I'm going to go with the bicycle seat mount, which came with the frame, it bolts on. Or I can also get a motocross style seat, which looks better, but might draw a little too much attention. If you're riding through a park or something, they might tend to, you know, pull you over. Hey, you're not supposed to ride a motorcycle in here, even though it will be a bicycle. Here's your crank, going to have pedals on there. I plan on just having one speed because this is just going to be full it'll have a throttle it's just going to be all electric got um these side panels here these are really thin steel as you can see i mean they're actually pretty light they actually will bolt on there um, i thought about maybe replacing them with aluminum but they're so thin by the time you replace with aluminum, you'd be saving a whole lot of nothing. So that's actually a good deal. I'll just stick with those. So from time to time, as we build on it, I'll do little video updates. I'm going to paint it a different color. Like I say, I got this one. It's supposed to be black. They sent me white, knocked off a bunch of money. So no big deal. We'll repaint it. Uh, what do you think, Ricky? Should I repaint it? Eh, no opinion. All right. So... All right, guys, uh, probably be a summer project. I'm not going to go crazy spending money all at once. I'm going to spend it as, you know, I get a little extra money here and there. We'll start uh, adding some stuff to it. And uh, probably every six, eight weeks, I'll do a little video, show you what I've done to it. And, of course, we'll do a uh, ride video at the end. I'm going to do a um, more of a torquey motor. I want to bike that does wheelies climbs hills and that kind of thing not so much concerned with top speed i don't care if it does middle upper 30s i'm fine with that as long as it's very torquey and i'll do wheelies all day long which is what i'm looking forward to and being it's a bicycle you can take it anywhere so all right guys we'll catch you later see you